Good evening, guys. Thank you so much for connecting to today's class. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much for being super punctual and thank you so much for being here. Now, guys, we are going to start with today's course. We are going to start with this new activity. We are going to start with this new adventure for you so you can practice and you can still learn English. Something that is really important for me is that you activate your camera because this, this is an online class and I am working with people. No, I am working with your black, I mean, window. So please turn on your camera because that's important. If your camera is not on, I'm so sorry, but you need to turn it on. Please, please, you need to turn on the camera because that's important. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, what about you, Elisa? Camera on, Michelle, camera on, Marlene, camera on, Edgar, camera on, Maria Santos, camera on, Roberto, camera on, and Wendy, Cecilia, camera on, please. It's your responsibility to have the camera on. Remember that this is an online class. So please help me with your camera on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, guys, as I mentioned, nice to meet you. It's a me, a, for me a pleasure to be here with you. So let's start with my presentation and let's start over here so we can start introducing ourselves and we can start knowing each other. So let me go with this. Now we are going to start with this short presentation and it says, I will switch into Spanish a couple of times so you can read this. Now it says Inglés Corporativo by Regal International over there. And it says Inglés Intermedio, Modulo 2 y 3, because I will work with El Grupo 2 y El Grupo 3. Now, my name is Christian Bernardo Müller Palucha. I am going to be your teacher this um, level, this course. So nice to meet you. General information about the online club or online course. Over here, during this level, guys, you are going to use the following platforms or the following tools. You already know uh, the platform for Inglés Corporativo, the Zoom tool, so we can connect to the class. And also we are going to use WhatsApp if you have one question, any doubt, so we can check your progress over there. Now it says over here, we are going to cut the classes from Zoom and it will last only one hour. And we are going to have the classes from Monday to Friday. Here is my mistake. It's from Monday to Friday. So over here, you are going to connect every class every single day from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. That will be your schedule from Monday to Friday. So please don't forget that. Always remember that you need to connect to the platform. You need to do your homework 100% during the whole level. Why is because if you don't do your homework during the whole level, you are not going to pass to the next level and you are not going to improve your English. Remember, the more you practice, the better that you are going to speak. And remember that you need to have the 80% of the percentage of your homework and evaluations so you can complete the course. And also you need to do the homework so you can put into practice all what you see in the classes. In week number one, you are going to complete the section number one and the section number two. In week number two, you are going to complete the section number three and the midterm test. In week number three, you are going to complete the section number four. And in the last week, you are going to do the section number five and the final exam. So you can complete the course. Also remember that you need to be on mute if you are not speaking, if you are not participating. Why? Because we can avoid the background noise. Remember that you are at home and sometimes at home you have background noises that will interrupt the class. And that will be super difficult for us to keep like listening to the class if your microphone is active. So remember that we start the, the course today, July 24th. We are going to um, have until the class August 18, if I'm not wrong. So we finish the course over there. But you need to keep on classes. You need to keep doing the homework and you need to keep doing your best over there. Now let me switch to this. Do you have any question, any doubt about the general information? Questions, doubts, comments? Preguntas, dudas, consultas? No questions, no doubts? Everything is clear? No question, teacher. Cool, thank you so much. Now let me go with this. If we are clear, just let me introduce myself real quick then. My name is Christian Miller, as I mentioned, I am 28 years old. I, I am from El Salvador, I live in Santa Ana. I work for in support programs, but I also, I also work for E4CC. I also work for Ministerio de Educación here in El Salvador. And yes, I have three different jobs because I really like to teach English. 
And I really like to help people on learning English because it's something easy. It's, it's something that will help you to get better opportunities. And also, if you want to earn more money, you can, I mean, work in a call center and that will be good for you so you can get more money. But it's your decision, right? So in this case, let me tell you that it's a pleasure for me. And if you have any question, any doubt, or you don't understand something, you can ask. Because if you don't ask, you cannot clarify your doubts. The key is that the communication, that will be the key. But if you never ask a question, how will I know that you have a question? How will I know or how will I supposed to know that you don't understand the topic? So you need to speak and you need to let me know what you don't understand and what you need from my part so I can help you. But that will be the key. You ask the communication because if you don't ask, the let me will be super difficult for me to help you in that case. So the key is to communicate, to connect to the class every single day so you can be responsible. Now, I will ask you about your personal information and you are going to introduce yourself. So let me ask you, Jose Lino Alvarenga, introduce yourself, please, so I can know you a little bit more. You are on mute, microphone, microphone, yes. Yes, good evening. Tell me. Teacher, my partner, my name is Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez. Mm -hmm. I live in Lourdes, Colón. Cool. It's a word in, I work in INSP. Nice. It's a, I have a family. Sure. My wife is nice. Blanca. My, I have two daughters and one son. That's cool. Thank you so much, Jose. Nice to meet you. Okay, thank what you. What about you, Karen and nice you Introduce too. yourself, please. Karen, 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 you are on mute. Microphone, microphone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, my name is Karen Elisa Bernal. I am 42 years old. I have two, two children. Uh, two children. Two children. Two children. Uh, the first, he has 16 years old. Uh, uh, he has never. He is. He is. Okay. He is. He is uh, 16 years old. And Thomas, he is 14 years old. That's cool. Thank you they so much, are... Karen Elizabeth. Nice to meet you over there. Jenny, Carolina, introduce yourself. Hi, good night. Good evening. Hey, good evening. My name is Jenny Carolina Ardon Cruz. I'm 36 years old. Mm -hmm. I have a child. Cool. And I'm work in Santa Lucia's kindergarten. And nice. I like I like play soccer and work out in the gym. Okay, just one correction over there. I like play soccer. No, I like to play soccer. Okay, I like to play soccer. That's correct. Thank you so much. What Thanks. about you, Selma Jamilet? Tell me, introduce yourself. Hello, good evening. Good evening. My name is Selma Jamilet Peña uh -huh. Flores. I live in Casaltepec. Yes. I I am thirty years old. Oh. I have a uh, one son. Super nice. And I. I am nervous. <laughs> okay, nervous. Nervous, nervous. no, nervous. nervous. What about you, Marlene? Introduce yourself. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. And my name is Marlene Elizabeth Valle Barahona. I am 34 years old. I have two children. Yes. And I like them. <laughs> I like to dance. I like to dance and um, 
actually I'm not working, but last year I was working at teleperformance in a mm. bilingual bilingual account. Yeah. Um that's it. That's cool. Nice to meet you then. What about how you, Wendy, Cecilia? Introduce yourself. Good evening. Good evening. Este, I am, my name is Wendy Cecilia Molina. I am 20, 28 years old. I live in Quesaltepec. Yes. I work at, in Haines Brown, Planta Soc. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you then. What about you, Roberto Eduardo? Introduce yourself. Hey, how you doing, guys? Uh, yeah, um, my name is uh, Roberto Escamilla. Mm -hmm. You know, I am here to learn English. Um, oh, nice. I, what can I tell you? I work uh, as a chef uh, for 10 years. Um, I got a beautiful family. So very cool. What else? Uh, and maybe in this time, I I will learn more English. You know, because in the future, I I gonna I want to get another job. So that's why I'm, I am here, and that's all. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. What about you, Elisa Areli? Tell me about yourself. You are on mute. Microphone, microphone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My name is Elisa Areli Lopez Campo. I live in El Triunfo Usulutans. Yes. I work in a bakery. I have a, a child. A child. Child. Perfect. In I am the 26 year old. Mm -hmm. Good job. Nice to meet you. What about you? Let me go with Sara Elisa. Tell me about yourself. Um, good evening. Good evening. I my name is Sara Elisa Belloso. I'm 22 years old. Uh, and I hope and I hope we can learn and practice English. Definitely. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. What about you, Karen, Yvette? Tell me about yourself. Hi, good evening, guys. My name is Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzman. Guzman. I, I am 43 years old. Oh. I, I have one, one, one son. Oh. He is 16 years old. And I work in department human resource and Super nice. I like I like um stay at home and go to the mountain and and beautiful place. Super cool day. Nice to meet you. What about you, Michelle Diaz? Tell me about yourself. Hi, good evening. You can hear me? Sure. Go. Okay. okay. Uh, my name is Michelle Diaz. Mm -hmm. uh, I was born in San Salvador, but currently I live in Morazan with my grandparents. Nice. Um, my favorite color is a purple. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm a student of theology, theology, sorry, and nice. I like a uh, language, English. Uh, English language. English language. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Appreciate it a lot. Nice to meet you. What about you, Edgar Fernando? Tell me about yourself. Edgar Fernando Portillo. Five, four, three, two, one. No answer over there. Guys, if you are going to connect to the class, try to be attentive and try to participate the more, I mean, as much as you can. So please be responsible over there. Maria Santos, tell me about yourself. Maria Santos, Maria Santos, Maria Santos. Good evening, teacher. Uh -huh, good evening. Tell me. My name is Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. Mm -hmm. I live in Hilo Vasco Cabañas. Nice. Live with my grandparents. Mm -hmm. My favorite hobby, hobby is cooking. 
I am 24 years old. Oh. I am a um, housewife. 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 Repeat the word, please. Housewife. Maria Santos. Ha housewife. Better. Thank you so much. Neftali, Antonio, tell me about yourself. Hello to everyone. Um, good evening. My name, is, my name is Neftali Antonio Mejia. I live here in San Juan Pico. Okay, and I'm, I'm 26 years old. I have a son. He's 15 years old. And I like um, to exercise. Sometimes I go to run and, and play soccer too. Only that. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. What about you, Benjamin Alejandro? Tell me about yourself. Hello, good evening. Good evening. My, my name is Benjamin Alejandro Quijada Lopez. I'm 22 years old. Mm -hmm. I live in Santa Rita, Chalatenango. I oh. live with my mom. And that's all. <laughs> thank you so much, Deng. Nice to meet you. Now, thank you guys for connecting to the class. I appreciate a lot. Just remember that your cameras needs to be on and remember that you need to come Complete and you need to participate the whole class. Why? Because you are intermediate level and it is supposed that you need to speak English as much as you can. You are not basic level anymore. So you need to speak as much as you can if you really want to improve your English. Because if you don't speak, I'm so sorry for you, but you will never speak perfectly or you will never speak fluently. So you need to speak in that case because you don't have any other option. Now we're going to start with this, guys. We're going to start with today's content. We are going to start with today's presentation. And let me go with this. The first activity that we are going to start developing over here today will be about vocabulary. We are going to start working about this, guys. We're going to start working about some words, some special words that we need to practice. And let me open the activity for you. But let me stop sharing because I need to share the screen again. One second. Let me open the screenshot over here. One second, let me open over here. Okay, here it is. Timing. One second, that this is loading. Okay, here it is. Let me share with you the screen. And here it is. Now we are going to talk about guys kinds of arts. That's the vocabulary for today. So the first kind of art that we are going to discuss is this one. So let me go with this one. This is a drawing. Everybody repeat after me, please. Drawing. 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 That's the word, drawing. 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 Let's go with the second word. And the second kind of art is this one. Everybody repeat, please. Jewelry. 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 That will be the second word. Jewelry. And the next kind of art will be this one. Everybody repeat, please. Fashion. 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 And the next kind of art will be this one. Let me go with this one. Okay, everybody repeat, please. Sculpture. 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 That will be the word. Sculpture. The next kind of art that we're going to have today will be this one. That will be pouring, pouring, pouring. And the last one that we're going to cap is this one. Painting, if I'm not wrong, let me see. Yes, this is painting. Everybody repeat this, painting. 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 That will be. So these are the different kinds of arts. These are the different words that we're going to have today. So let me stop sharing because I will open the new activity and let me start open over here the new activity. 
Let me close it. Let me share with you the new exercise over here. And let me go with this. Switch into this. Now let me ask you, the first activity is this one. So we are going to start discussing and tell me, what is this kind of art? Number one, painting. it is? Painting. 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 That's correct. Painting, painting, painting. painting. What is this one? Window. Window, shadow. No, it is not a window. <laughs> Neither a shadow. Well, what is it? Door. Imagine that you have a camera. What do you do with the camera? What do you uh, obtain from the photographer. camera? A photograph. A photograph. Picture. Picture. Photograph. Picture. Photograph. 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 That will be. Now let me ask you, what is this kind of art? Jerry. 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 Now let me ask you, what is the next? Kind of art. A pottery. Pottery. That will be pottery. Tell me. What is the difference jewelry in in a uh, knuckles collar? A uh, necklace. This is not yes, collar. Necklace. This is is I mean joyería. That will be joyería. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank because you. we are talking about different kind of arts. Estamos hablando de diferentes kind. I mean, different classes de arte. So that would be. Okay. Now let's go with the next one. What is this one? It's called sculpture. Yes, sculpture. What is the next one? Fashion. 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 That's correct. Fashion is a. I mean, it's a different kind of art. And let's go with the last one. What is this one? Drawing. 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 That's Drawing. correct. Drawing. Perfect over there. Now, everybody repeat after me, please. Painting. 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 Photography. Photography. Jewelry. 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 Culture. Fashion. Drawing. Drawing. Now, right now, what are we going to do? Let me ask you over here my first question, and I will ask you over here. What is your favorite, fa favorite kind of art? Now, about repeat this. What is your favorite kind of art? What is your favorite? your favorite? What is your favorite kind of art? What is your favorite kind of art? Kind of art? That's correct. What is your favorite kind of art? And over here, I will ask you, and I will give you my example, and I will say, in my personal taste, my favorite kind of art is painting. Now, about Ruben, please. My favorite kind of art is painting. My, my, my favorite, favorite kind of painting is painting. Over here, I'm missing one letter. I'm so sorry. Painting. Now, you tell me, what is your favorite kind of art? I will give you 30 seconds so you can write your sentence in your notebook and tell me what is your, I mean, different, what is your favorite kind of art? 30 seconds, go. Tell me, tell me, tell me, what is your favorite kind of art? Write your sentence in your notebook, please, please, so you can tell me what is your favorite kind of art. Tell me, tell me, tell me, what is your favorite kind of art? Remember, we have painting, we have photography, we have jewelry, we have pottery, we have, let me see, fashion as well. We have sculpture, we have drawing. Tell me, tell me, tell me, what is your favorite kind of art? Please, please. You have, let me see, five seconds. Tell me, tell me, tell me, what is your favorite kind of art? Okay, let me stop sharing. Let me go and check your answers. And let me go with this. Now, Jose, tell me, what is your favorite kind of art? Thank you, painting. Okay, one more time. My favorite kind of art is my favorite kind of art is painting. Thank you. Jenny, Carolina, tell me, what is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is photography. 
photographical. What about you, Salma Jamilet? What is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is drawing. Drawing, cool. What about you, Marlene? What is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is jewelry. Thank you. What about you, Wendy? What is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is... Hi, is Put. this you? Put. Oh, sculpture. A sculpture. Put. What about you, Roberto? What is your favorite kind of art? Uh, my favorite kind of art is drawing. Thank you. What about you, Lisa Arely? What is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is painting. Thank you. What about you, Karen Ibet? What is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is fashion. Thank you. What about you, Karen Elizabeth? What is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is painting. Thank you. What about you, Sarah Elisa? What is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is fashion. Thank you. What about you, Michelle? What is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is photography. Thank you, Neftali Antonio. What is your favorite kind of art? My guess, my favorite kind of art is painting. Thank you. What about you, Edgar Fernando? What is your favorite kind of art? No, Edgar Fernando de class. Okay, Maria Santos, what is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is painting. Thank you. What about you, Benjamin? What is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is drawing. Drawing. Super cool job. Thank you so much. You're doing incredible over there. Thank you so much for your answers. So let me continue over here. Just give me one second. Okay, now we are going to practice over here with the vocabulary one more time. I'll let me share with you my screen over here. Just let me go with this one. Let me go with this. Now, this is the next activity. Now, it says, the, and we have the key word over here, exhibit fascinating how did people make clothing thousand years ago. What will people wear in 100 or 200 years from now? These are some of the questions it answers. Now tell me, what is the kind of art over here? Fashion. Fashion, fashion yes, fashion. that's correct, fashion. The fashion exhibit, that's correct. I never knew people wore things like that on their fingers, necks, ears, and arms. What an unusual jewelry okay. exhibit. That's correct, jewelry exhibit. Now, these underwater pictures of fish are beautiful. I wonder what kind of camera he used to take them. This is a great photography, photography. photography. photography exhibit. That's correct. John thought the exhibit was thought provoking, but I thought it was weird. This artist just put all those bumpers and hoods and other cars parts together. Who wants to look the art like that? Sculpture. 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 Let's go. Can you believe it? The artist of this has never had a brush in his hand. He used pen and pencils to create these beautiful black and white pictures. Drawings. 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 That's correct. And the last one, but Draw not this, wing. it says, it is nice to see by a talented child. How did she learn to use a brush and color like that? Painting. 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 That's correct. So we are going to start checking your pronunciation and help me to read, please. We are going to start with Jose. Help me to read about fashion. Go. Okay. The fashion exhibit is fascinating. 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 How did 
people make clothing thousands of years ago? Well, will people wear one, 100 and 200 years from now? Mm -hmm. These are some of the questions it has answered. Answer. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. What about you, Jenny Carolina? You. Tell me, I never. You are on mute? I never need people wear things like that on their fingers, necks, ears, and arms. What an you, you, eh, no sé cómo se pronuncia esta. What is the pronunciation, teacher? Yeah, please? Worrying. Yeah, worrying. No. Unusual. An unusual jewelry. Okay, unusual jewelry. Jewelry exhibits. That will be. Thank you so much. What about you, Selma? Help me. This underwater. These underwater pictures of fish are beautiful. I wonder what. I wonder what king of kind, camera. Kind, kind, kind. Ah, perdón. <laughs> What kind? What kind, kind of? <laughs> what kind of camera he used to take then? Uh -huh. This is, he used never. He used. He used to take them. This a uh, great photo photography. Great. Exhibit. Great. 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 Marlene, come to read, please. Number four. John thought the sculpture exhibit has thought provoking, provoking. But mm -hmm. I thought it was weird that artists just put all those bumpers and hoods and, uh, and other cars parts together. Who wants to look at art like that? Thank you so much. That was cool. What about you, Wendy? Call me with number five. Can you believe it? The art, artist of this drawing has never had a brush in, the, in his heart. Hand. He used pen and pencil to create this beautiful blank and blank and white Three picture. Eight. Three eight. That's the word, pronunciation. Three eight. That's correct. Number six, comment to read Elisa Adeli. It is Number nice six. It's nice to see painting by a talent child. How did she oh, learn to use a brush and color like that? Thank you so much. Yes, remember painting and talented child. Caring event, tell me. Number one, the fashion. Fashion exhibit uh, is fascinating. How do people make clothing so some years ago? Mm -hmm. What will people wear 100 or 200 years from now? These are oh, some gosh. of the questions it's answered. Thank you so much. Tell me, let me see. Karen Elizabeth, number two. I never knew people or thing like that on their finger, necks, ears, and arms. What I usually generally exhibit. Yes, thank you so much. Appreciate it. What about you, Star Elisa? Number three, this underwater. The, these underwater pictures of fish and are beautiful. I wonder what kind of camera he used to take them. This is a great photography exhibit. Thank you. Number four, Roberto. Okay. Uh, John threw the sculpture exhibit was to provoke kind, but I thought it is was weird. The artist just pulled of those bumpers and who who's and other car part together who wants to look 
at the who wants to look at uh, like that. Thank you so much. What right. about you? Tell me, please. Let me see. Michelle Diaz, can we go with number five? Can you believe it? The artist of these drawings has never had a brush in his hand. Mm -hmm. He used pen and pencil to create this beautiful black and white pictures. Thank you so much. Appreciate. What about you, Kelvin, with number six, Neftali? It's nice to see painting by a talent child. How did it learn to use brush and color like that? Thank you so much. Appreciate a lot. What about you? Let me see. Maria Santos, come in with the fashion, please. Number one. The fashion exhibit is fancy night. Fancy Fascinating. Night. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. How the people made clothing thousands of years ago. Was we people were 100 and 200 years from now. These days are some of the questions is as worse. Thank you so much. Benjamin, tell me with number two. I never knew people wore things like that on their fingers, necks, ears, and arms. What an unusual jewelry exhibit. Perfect. Thank you so much. Now, guys, thank you so much for reading. You are doing good. We just need a little bit of more fluency, but we are going to get the fluency during that time. But yes, you are doing good. I mean, no matter of pronunciation, a couple of words, but you are doing amazing over there. Let me open the new thing that we are going to work with. Just give me one second, please. Let me share with you the screen and let me go with this. So right now, guys, we are going to talk about the two-part verbs. So the two-part verbs, guys, we are going to work with this. For example, turn down the TV. So in this case, turn down the TV, it means what is the son doing? The son is watching TV. What is the daughter doing? Liz is talking on the phone. And what are the parents going to nag them about? The dad, the dad asks Jason to turn down the TV. The mom asks Lisa to pick up her things. So in other words, guys, when we are saying two part verbs, and let me put it over here, I will write it over here. Two part verbs, two part verbs. In other words, guys, we are talking about phrasal, verbs when you are saying for example you have the verb turn and you can have turn it on turn it off turn it down and turn it turn out and so on but when you have this verb this is the main verb and i will put it over here we need the main verb last prepositions so this is in this case guys the two part verbs when you say turn it on is that you are saying in spanish in this case so turn it on if you are saying turn it off you are saying in other words So if you are saying turn down is the same, like turn it off or turning down, it means like, it will be like this or, sorry, sorry, sorry. I am missing one word. And over here, I am missing one letter too. So over here, you are saying this or you can say also, you have two meanings over there. So in this case, guys, it will depend on the context and it will depend on the preposition, what will be the meaning. So over here, I will put it in simple words. You need to memorize this kind of verbs because because we have 
different meanings. And let me give you an example over here, meanings. Let me show a picture with this so you can understand the topic better, but just give me one second. I will share this in WhatsApp so you can have it in here. And let me see what is your group. Let me one second, here it is. Okay, there you have the information. So right now, let me give you an example of a phrasal verb that we have a lot of meanings and we have different meanings over there. For example, over here, just let me go with phrasal verbs. With, for example, take. We're going to use take because it's one of the common ones. And we are going to take this one because this picture is really good. So let me open the picture. In other words, guys, we have a two part verbs. For example, we can say turn up that it will be or what it will be the meaning, accept the job. If we say take up, but if we say the meaning take after, we have the meaning resemble somebody in your appearance, behavior or character. If you say take away, it means remove something from one place and put it in another place. If we say take back, it means return something. If we say take down, it means write down. If you say take in, means go and see something or visit a place. If you say take off, it means go and see something or visit a place. Leave the gun and fly. Take on, it means accept a job. And it says accept responsibility. Take out means go to a restaurant, play or play for everything in that case. And let's go with take over. It means to start living in a house. And take around means show all the interesting features. And take two means begin to something to do something as regular activities. Begin to live something. So sorry, like something. So in this case, this will be the two part verbs. When you have two part verbs, I, re I repeat, you need the main verb that it will be take, and then you need prepositions. What are the prepositions? Up, after, away, back, down, in, off, on, out, over, around, and to. All those words are, guys, are prepositions. And if you put it together, we'll give you an action verb. And that action verb will be your activity. In simple words, and I will say it in Spanish just to help you. In this case will be, tiene un verbo base? Like go, take, look, watch, any verb, cualquier verbo base. But then you add preposiciones. ¿Cuáles son las preposiciones? I repeat, up, after, away, back, up, on, out, over. Cuando usted añade la preposición al verbo base, el meaning cambia, el significado del verbo cambia. ¿Y cómo va a cambiar? Basado en la preposición que tiene. So, that will be. ¿Usted cómo va a saber qué, qué significado va a tener? Just by memorizing, solo memorizándoselo. ¿Por qué? Porque si se fijan over here, son varios significados para un solo verbo. Son varias actividades para un solo verbo. So the only way to do this is memorizarse los más populares, los más comunes. So in this case, that will be the main solution. That will be the main area about the two-part verbs. Why do we call them two-part verbs? Porque se divide entre verbo y preposición. So son dos cosas diferentes que al unirlos hace un verbo con significado diferente al que usted se imagina. So that will be the meaning of the verb and that will be the topic. Now, let me share with you this picture so you can have an idea what is a phrasal verb or what is a two-part verb. Let me share the picture over here so you can get them more ideas. And let me continue with the presentation over here because we have more verbs. 
Let me see. Do, 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 do. Okay, over here it is. Now, over here we are going to write the verb, turn down the TV or pick up. These are the two different verbs. If we want to know the meaning of these guys, pick up and turn down, you can go with this. And over here we have the book. Just let me go with this one. So over here it says, over here we have a conversation so we can get a, I mean, an idea of the usage. Just give me one second. Let me adjust the screen over here. And let me see if I can make a zoom. Yes. So it says, let me show, let me go with this. And it says, please turn down the TV. I have to study. So if I ask you over here by context, what is the meaning of turn down? Mm -hmm. What will be the meaning of turn down? Apagar. Yes. Apagar. Yes, that will be the meaning. According to the context, that will be the meaning. So it says, it's still too loud. All right, I will turn it off. What is the meaning of turn it off, guys? Apagar. Yes, the same meaning. So turn down and turn it off, the same meaning. Thanks, no problem. This place is such a mess. Rodrigo, your clothes are all over the place. They are not mine and these books are yours. Actually, why do you put them away? Put them away? What is the meaning of put them away? Ponlo en su lugar, put it away. Mm, oh. I would say... Recogerlo. Mm, kind of. Kind of. When you say put them away, it means moverlos. I mean, you put them away that. I mean, you move from this place. For example, if my mom uh, tells me, hey, Christian, pull all those books away. So it means, Christian, move los libros de ahí. Move los libros de ese lugar. So that would be the meaning by context. But yes, we can say, eh, moverlo de lugar, ponerlo en su lugar. Yes, we can say it like that. But according to this, put them away it means moverlo. The lugar de donde está. So that would be the meaning. Now, I'm sorry. I guess I am kind of nervous about my exam tomorrow. That's okay. I know how it feels. Those exams driving me crazy too. So according to the context, we have how many two parts verbs do we have over here in the conversation? We have three kind of verbs. We have turn down, turn down. We have turn off. And we have put away. So these are the three verbs that we are going to focus. So what is the meaning of turn down, you say? Uh -huh, what is the meaning? Apagar. Que no oh, es como bajar el volumen. Apagar. No, turn down will be. Disminuirlo. In this case, will be the same. Turn down will be apagar. Apagar. Mm -hmm. Apagar. In this case, something like you are not going to use. Algo que no lo, va, no lo va a hacer como en el uso de que lo está haciendo. So, turn down will be apagar. Or if you want to translate it a bajar volumen as well, you can put it over here. Remember, that is according to the context. Va de acuerdo al contexto. So, that would be no problem. Bajar volumen. Volume. Okay, let me go with turn it up. What will be turn it up? So over here, those will be the three different phrasal verbs, phrasal verbs that we have over here in the story. So turn down, turn it off and put it away. And I will give you an example about using the verbs. For example, I put my books away of my dog. Now everybody repeat, please. I put my books away of my dog. I put my, I put my books away, 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 away of my dog. Of my dog. Now, if I translate the sentence, 
what will be the translation? Huh? What will be the translation? I yes, that will be so lejos. Far, far away. So in that case, that will be my sentence. Now you have 30 seconds. Write your example in your notebook and tell me what is your example using or turn down, turn it off, or put it away, please. Give me one example using one verb, please, please. 30 seconds, one sentence, go. One sentence, one sentence, using, using the phrasal verbs, please, please. Let me share this in WhatsApp in the meantime. Let me go with this one. And let me go with this. Okay, let me check some examples over here before we take the attendance. And let me start with, let me see who is going to be my first volunteer. Jenny, give me your example, please. I'm put away my closet. Okay, that's a good example. What about you, Wendy? Your example, please. I turned the radio down. Okay, I turned the radio down. Thank you so much. What about you, Jose? Jose, I Jose. turned down the phone. Okay, I turned, I turned down, the, down phone. the phone. Thank you so much. Good job. What about you, Michelle? Your example? I turned off my computer. Perfect. Marlene, your example? I put my cell phone away of my son because he is studying. Perfect. Now, what about you, Selma? Your example? Can you turn down the radio? Perfect. Radio. What about you, Elisa? Radio. Your example? Elisa, Elisa, Elisa? You are on mute. Microphone, microphone. Uh, turn off. Okay, repeat the sentence. Turn off the co computer? Computer. Yes, computer. What about you, Karen, Yvette? Your example? I turned down the TV for the English class. Perfect. What about you, Roberto? Your example? Roberto, mute, mute, mute. Uh, can you put away your stuff? Perfect. What about you, Karen, Elizabeth? Your example? I turn off my cell phone. Perfect. What about you, Sarah Lisa, your example? Sarah, 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 on mute, mute, mute. I have to put away my clothes. Perfect. Neftali, your example? I have to put away my clothes. Thank you. Neftali? Okay. I turned down, I turned down the TV because Perfect. no one was watching. Perfect. That's cool. What about you? Let me see Maria Santos, your example. My sister turned off the TV. Perfect. And Benjamin, your example? Benjamin, Benjamin? No, Benjamin? Okay, let me go with this. I will take your attendance, so please say present so I can put your attendance. Benjamin Alejandro? Benjamin Alejandro, five. Benjamin Alejandro, four. Benjamin Alejandro, three, two, one. No, Benjamin Alejandro. Edgar Fernando. Edgar Fernando, five, four, three, two. No, Edgar Fernando. Elisa Areli. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Giselle Marie Hernandez. Not here, I think. Jenny, sorry. Yes, Janet. I think it's Janet or Jen. Yes, I think Janet Carolina. Nope, not here. Okay, Joselino. Present. Thank you. Karen Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karen Yvette. I'm here, teacher. Maria Santos. Present, teacher. Marlene Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Michelle Beatriz. 
Present teacher. Neftali Antonio. Present teacher. Oscar Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, Roberto Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you, Sara Elisa. Present. Thank you, Selma Jamilet. Present. Thank you so much. Just let me go with the next ones. And Wendy Cecilia. Present teacher. Jenny Carolina. Present, Mr. Mueller. Thank you so much. Just let me check over here with the rest. Let me see. Benjamin Alejandro. No, Benjamin Alejandro. Yes, I am here. So I'm answer. sorry. Thank you so much. What Thank about you. Edgar Fernando? No, Edgar Fernando. Giselle Marie, not here. And Jeanette Carolina, not here, right? So, thank you so much, guys, for connecting. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it a lot. Now, let me continue over here with the phrasal verse activity. Just give me go with this. And it says over here, we have the first activity, and it says, take out the trash. Now, according to the context, what will be the meaning of take out? Sacar. Yes. Sacar. Take out the trash. That will be the meaning. Saca la basura. Perfect. So that will be. If I ask you, please put the dishes away, what would be the meaning of put away? Aleja. Levanta away. los platos. Yes. Levanta move, los platos. Move them. So remember. Or if you can quitar, say. Quitar. quitar. Or if you want to put it like that, so Levant. like this. If I say hang up the hang up the towel. Levanta, levanta. Colgar. Mm, Colgar. Yes, that will be the Colgar. meaning. Hang up means. <laughs> now turn off. Apaga. Apaga. Turn off. And eh, apaga. And turn on, what is the meaning of turn on? Encender. Yes, turn on, that will be encender. So that will be. Everybody repeat after me, please. Take out. Take out. Take out. out. Put away. Take out. Put away. away. Hang away. up. Hang Hang up. up. Turn off. Turn, turn off. off. Turn, turn on. on. Turn on. That will be. Let me share with you these examples over here in WhatsApp so you can keep practicing. And let me go with WhatsApp over here. So there you have the information. There you have the examples. And now let me go with this. Help me to read this, please. And you are going to be my volunteer reading. Let's get started with. When this is Ilya, I come to read the conversation. Please turn down the TV. Turn it down. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Yeah. Read, 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 read. Please turn down. Please turn down the TV. I have to study. To study, 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 study. 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 Continue. Study. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll turn it down. Mm -hmm. It is still too loud. I'll write. I'll, I, I, will. I will turn it off. I will go to watch this show in my room. Oh. Thanks. No problem. This play is su such, a mess. such a mess. Such a mess. Rodrigo, your clothes are all over the place. They are not mine. I these books are yours actually. We don't you put huh? you put them away. Yes. I'm sorry. I guess I kind of nervous about my exam tomorrow. That's okay. I know how you feel. Those exam exams drive drive me crazy too. That's correct. Thank you so much. Now guys. For tomorrow, we are going to continue with the two-part verbs. Don't worry about it. So please practicing and start memorizing the two-part verbs and start working on the platform, please. 
So this is all for today's class. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful night. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.